Welcome to Python Tutorials. In this tutorial, I'd like to talk about variables. In Python, variables are something that you can create to store information into. For example, you might want to store a number or a name or some other type of value. There are many different types of variables. In this video, I'd like to talk about four of them. The first of these is integers. Integers are useful for when you want to store whole numbers such as 1, 2, 383, negative 383, basically any number positive or negative that doesn't have numbers to the right of the decimal point. The first thing we need to do is open up the idle interpreter. In order to create a variable in Python, you need to come up with a name. So for this variable, we're going to call it variable, or var, short for variable, underscore, integer. Now, to give this variable a value, we have to set it equal to a value. This value is referred to as a literal. We're going to store the number 76 to integer by setting var integer equal to 76, then pressing enter. Now var underscore integer has the value of 76. So if we type in that variable name, Python should return to us the value stored in there, which is 76. Another type of variable is called a float. A float includes numbers that have digits to the right of the zero. For example, 725. I'm sorry. For example, 7.25. So let's create a double variable. We're going to name this one var underscore double. And we'll set that equal to 7.25. Now, when we type in var underscore double, Python should tell us the value that we just stored there, which is 7.25. Okay, the next type of variable I like to talk about is a string or a character. Now there is a difference. A character is when you want to represent just one letter, number, or symbol that you see on your keyboard in a variable. So let's start with that. We'll do var underscore char, which is short for character. And we'll set that equal to the pound symbol. Notice when I set the value of a character variable, I put the value or the symbol inside single quotes. And then press enter. Now, when we recall var character, we get the pound symbol in the single quotes. The next type of variable, which I mentioned earlier, is the string. So let's make a string. First, let me tell you what a string is for. A string is good when you want to store a word or a sentence or a phrase or maybe a list of a uh, group of numbers. So let's create a string. We're going to call this one var underscore string, and we'll set it equal to a string. Now, for strings, you need to put the value in double quotes. So first open quotation, and we'll make this string, this is a string variable. End quote. Then we press enter, and when we recall variable string, we get the string, this is a string variable. The final type of variable that I'd like to tell you about is called a boolean, or boolean. This variable can only have one of two values, either true or false. So let's create a Boolean variable, var underscore bool. Now remember, you can name your variables whatever you like as long as they're not keywords, which if you watch the second video on print, you'll know that keywords turn orange or they turn a different color in the Python uh, idle interpreter. Okay, so we're going to set this equal to either true or false. 
I like true. Notice true turned purple. If I had used a lowercase t, it wouldn't have turned purple, and it wouldn't have represented the value true. So you need to put an uppercase t for true, or an uppercase f for false. Now we'll press enter, and when we recall var bool, we get the value true. Okay, this has been the tutorial on variables. Thank you for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe, and have a nice day.